If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get instant notification for my new video upload. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about stars. Although I realize that there are many stars out there, you are the only star in my heart. LOL! Anyway, I'm going to elucidate this topic fully in English. This is not because I intend to impress you or so off that I can't speak English. Oh no. That's not me. Actually, there are two imperative reasons why I decided to explicate this topic fully in English. Firstly, I'm still learning English and I don't have a partner to speak with. Therefore, creating physics videos in English enables me to maintain my vocabularies as well as improve my English speaking skill. Secondly, and even more importantly, I want to encourage you to learn physics while studying English simultaneously. So, let's get started. To embark upon, I would like to ask you a question. How many stars can you see in the night sky? Hmm, in a city, you probably can't see very many. But on a clear night, far from city lights, you can see hundreds, perhaps several thousand. With a telescope, you can see many thousands. With a really good telescope, you are able to see hundreds of millions. And that's fantastic. But wait, look closer. Not only stars you can see in the night sky, there are also galaxies out there. So you may ask, what is a galaxy? Well, basically, it is a group of stars, billions, or even hundreds of billions, all in the same part of space. So there are many stars and galaxies out there. And if you attempt to count all these stars and galaxies, you reach an impossible number. The scientist Carl Sagan said, the total number of stars in the universe is larger than all the grains of sand on all the beaches of the planet Earth. So where did all the stars and galaxies come from? Well, I will answer that question in the next video.